Hey everybody, we're going on a bear hunt. Do you want to come with us? Okay, great, come on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. We're gonna catch a big one. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Oh look, some grass, long wavy grass. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Gotta go through it. Swish, 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 swish. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. We're gonna catch a big one. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Ooh, look, a river, a wide blue river. Can't go under it. Can't go over it. Can't go around it. Gotta swim through it. Splish, splash, splish, splash. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. We're gonna catch a big one. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Oh look, a mountain, a big tall mountain. Can't go under it. Can't go through it. Can't go around it. Gotta go over it. Climb, 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 climb. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. We're gonna catch a big one. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Can't go under it, can't go over it, can't go around it, got to go inside. It's dark in here. I feel something. It's got lots of hair and sharp claws. It's a That was fun, guys. You make a great bear. Thank you. And thank you for playing with us. Bye. Look at that smug duck. This silly duck can't stop admiring himself in the mirror. Smug duck is very vain. What a lovely perfume! What could the little duckling be up to? <laughs> what a fiendish little duck! <laughs> Be careful, Smug Duck! A very smug duckling very happily went for a walk. His tail was well perfumed. Boom bada doom bada doom. He crossed paths with a lady duck and wanted to win her affection. The lady duckling kept walking. Boom, bada doom, bada doom.
Welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, I'm pretending to be a royal performer. I shall perform for you a song, if you're happy and you know it. <clears throat> if you're happy and you know it. Excuse me, could you please cheer a little quieter? I'm trying to perform a song. Sorry, I'm just so happy. I have to yeah. Shh. Apologies for the interruption. Without further ado, I shall perform if you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you... Hey, hey, what are you doing? We're stopping. And clapping. Well, could you please stomp and clap quietly? You're interrupting my performance. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Now, if we will have no more interruptions. Why are you all making so much noise? You keep interrupting my performance. What song are you performing? I was trying to sing If You're Happy and You Know It. I know that song. Me too. Wait a minute. If you're happy and you know it, has cheering. And clapping, and stomping, and you're all really happy. Yeah. I know. Why don't you all perform it with me? Sure. If you're happy and you know it too, sing with us. Yeah. yeah let's go. So ready? <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, give it a cheer. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, give a cheer. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a cheer. Hooray! Yeah. That was an excellent performance. Yeah. Awesome job! It was great! Thank you all for singing with us. Bye, Bye Mother Peace Club! Club. red brick. It matches my shirt. How cool. This blue one is really awesome. I love the way that it's just in the middle. <laughs> okay, guys, we need to build a just really better. tall skyscraper. We just better not knock it down. Oh. Our tower. It's okay. Let's build it again while we play the three little pigs. The three little pigs? Yeah. Here. I'll be Mama Pig. And you'll be my three kids. One, two, three. Little pigs, you're not little anymore. It's time for you to build houses of your own. Oh, Mama, I'll miss you. A house of my own? Sounds great. Now, be sure to build strong, safe houses and watch out for the big bad wolf. That big old bully will try to gobble you up. Goodbye, piggies, and good luck. Bye. 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 Okay, I'll be the pig who makes my house out of straw. But we don't have straw. Oh, then I'll use this blanket. Come on, help me. Done. How fast was that? Now it's some time to relax. See you later, piggies. Bye. I don't think that fort looks very sturdy. Do you? I think I'll make my house out of that cardboard box. But that's a box. That's okay. I'll draw the sticks on. This 
is my house of sticks. It's way stronger than my brother's and it didn't even take that long to make. See you, sister. Come visit anytime. Now you can be the pig who makes their house out of bricks. Yeah. Here, I'll help you. And I build a strong house that will never come down. That's right. But as the three little pigs began to enjoy their new houses, they started to hear scary rumors that the big bad wolf had come to town. Ow! Mmm, I smell pigs. I bet there's a little pig in here. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> ah! Help! 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 Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> ah, help! 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 help. help. <sighs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not, Not by the hairs on your chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> <gasps> Why won't this house fall down? Because this house is made by strong bricks that will never come down. <laughs> Ouch! Go away, bully, and never bother us again. So the big bad wolf went away and never came back again. And the little pig showed her sister and brother how to make strong houses that will never come down. And they all lived happily ever after. The, the end. end. Hey guys, I want to build a really big castle. <laughs> I want to build like a super, super tall tower. Let's do it. Sounds like fun. I'll help. <laughs> the blue ones. Welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we will be performing the story of Little Miss Muffet. I will be playing the role of Little Miss Muffet. I'm going to be the spider. I'm going to be the tuffet. Uh, don't be so sad about it. You're a very important part of the story. I want it to be Blinkin' Monster. But Blinkin' Monster isn't in the story. And we really need someone to be the Tuffet. Fine. Well, without further ado, places, everybody! <sighs> Little Miss Muffet sat on her Tuffet eating her curds away. Yum! Tastes like vanilla yogurt. Along came a spider and sat down beside her. hi ah! And frightened Miss Muffet away. Thanks, spider. No problem. Want some curds and whey? Now pass.
looks like I got to be Blanket Monster after all. Bye, Mother Goose Club. Hello and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we'll be performing the epic tale of the brave knight and of the evil trolls. I am obviously the brave knight. And we are the evil trolls who get to capture the knight on the bridge and steal all of his armor. Places, everybody. I must cross this bridge to continue on my epic quest. Not if we have anything to say about it. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my dear knight. Hmm, a dangerous bridge indeed. I must be brave. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. You give us all of your <laughs> armor. But I'm on an epic quest. I need my armor. Then looks like you'll stay trapped forever. Hiya! Okay, okay. We surrender, we surrender. You are just too strong and too brave for us. We just wanted to be knights too. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? A knight must be strong and brave, but they also must be kind and fair. Why don't I share my armor with you? So we can all be knights. Yes, yes please. please. Look at us, we're brave, strong knights. You'll have to behave like a knight, which means no more trapping people on bridges, okay? Okay. okay. Good luck on your epic quest. Thanks. Bye, Mother Goose Club! Roar! I'm a big scary troll. No, not scary enough. Maybe he needs crazy hair. And big ears. Trolls definitely have big ears. Ready? Roar! I'm a big scary troll. Eh, I guess you're a little scary. I think he's perfect. Let's play! Okay, so where did three Billy Goats grow up? Uh, guys, don't we need a bridge? Oh, right. Will this work? Perfect. Awesome, but you'd better be ready. Goats, we've eaten all the grass in our meadow. And I'm so hungry. There's lots of grass over there. Oops, grass. across the river. And you know who guards the bridge? A big scary troll. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. I sure hope somebody crosses my bridge. I'm starving. Come closer, Ghost. I got the plan. Yes. Amazing. Are you sure this will work? Just stick to the plan. Be careful. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Roar! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? It's just me, the little belly goat. Ha, you foolish goat. Now I shall gobble you up. I'm too small to make a good dinner for a big girl like you. But don't worry, my sister will be coming soon. And she's bigger than me. Fine, little goat. I shall eat your big sister. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. Safe! Okay, my turn. You'll do great. Roar! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? Ah, uh, me? I'm the medium sized Billy Goat Gruff. Yeah, you are much bigger than your little sister. Now I shall gobble you up. Wait, wait! If you want a really good meal, my big brother is coming and he's even bigger than me. He's huge and delicious like pepperoni pizza. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Fine, I shall eat your big brother. Clip clop, clip clop, safe! Okay, here I go. Clip-clop, clip-clop. Roar! Who dat clip-clops on my bridge? Hi, 
I'm the big Billy Goat Grump. Hmm. You are the perfect dinner for a big scary troll like me. Well, I'm big enough to know you shouldn't go around gobbling people up. Huh? And I'm also big enough to do this. Whoa! Whoa! Yay! Yay! And from then on, the three belly goats gruff ate all the yummy green grass they could have. And that big scary troll never bothered them again. The end! Hey guys, wanna play again? Sure. Yeah, can I be the troll? Yes. I'm gonna be the big billy goat graph. I wanna be a billy goat too. Okay. Hi, welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we'll be performing the story of Lazy Mary. I will be playing the role of Lazy Mary. Places, everybody. Again, Lazy Mary sleeps all the time and never comes out to play. We have to find a way to wake her up. I know, what if I try singing really loudly? Maybe I'll make enough noise and she'll wake up. Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? didn't work. Maybe I'm not being loud enough. I know. What's up? I can't get Lazy Mary to wake up. Maybe if we both sing really loudly, she'll wake up. Let's try it. Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up today? No, my friends, I won't get up. I won't get up. I won't get up. No, my friends, I won't get up. I won't get up today. Don't give up yet. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Trying to wake up Lazy Mary. No luck, huh? No. Come on. Surely with the three of us, we'll be able to make enough noise to get Lazy Mary up. We have to try. Okay. Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up today? We have to sing even louder. Lazy Mary, will you you to play with us. Okay, friends, I will get up. I will get up. I will get up. Okay, friends, I will get up. I will get up today. Finally! Yay! Yay! I'm so happy. Thanks for singing with us. Bye, Mother Goose Club! Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, swimming in the sea. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, calling out to me. Sha-la-la-la, -la -la, sha la la lee Mermaid singing in the sea. Sha-la-la-la, -la -la, sha la la lee Mermaid singing in the sea. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid combing down her hair. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, a crown of pearls to wear. Do you wish to be a fish with shiny scales upon your tail? Or by chance, you long to dance to music sweet 
on girly feet. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, swimming in the sea. Mermaid, beautiful mermaid, calling out to me. Sha la la la, sha la la li. Mermaid singing in the sea. Sha la la la, sha la la li. Mermaid singing in the sea. To the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, I'm a bus driver, and I'm on my way to pick up my Dress Up Theater friends. Would you like to come along and sing the wheels on the bus with me? Great! Climb aboard. Be sure to buckle your seatbelt. Click. Let's go. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through town. Hey, it's Johnny Johnny from Johnny Johnny Yes Papa. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Screech. Hey, Johnny Johnny, need a ride? Hi, bus driver. I sure do. We'll climb aboard. Make sure to buckle your seatbelt. Click, ready. Let's go. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. Stopping for a passenger. Hit the brakes. Screech. Hey, it's Lazy Mary. Do you need a ride? Yes, I do. May I climb aboard? Absolutely. Just be sure to buckle up. Click. Whew, I always get sleepy on bus rides. I think I'll just. The people on the bus go shh, 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 The people on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. Screech! Oops, didn't mean to fall asleep. Who are we picking up? I don't know. This is the next stop, but I don't see anybody. Boogly boo! Ah! <laughs> I scared you. You sure did, Blanket Monster. Do you want to ride with us? Yes, please. But please, no more scaring. <sighs> Fine. Make sure to buckle your seatbelt. Click. <laughs> That's all my passengers. Let's go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I got this. All right, and this is there, and this goes. I'm so fast, I'm like lightning. Yes. Slow down. You know what game I think we should play next? What? The tortoise and the hare? Look, I'm sorry for bragging. Look at me, I'm so fast. Have you ever seen anyone faster than me? I don't think so. Hi, hair. Tortoise? Is that you? You're so slow, I thought you were a rock. 
How do you think your friends feel when you say they're slow? You always brag about how fast you are. I challenge you to a race. Are you joking? We'll race around the field to the finish line. We need a finish line. On it. Ta-da! Nice. I'll just plant these in the field. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, wow, I'm fast. Hey, Tortoise, did you give up yet? Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> You're so slow, I could eat all of this food and still win. Mm, looks quite delicious. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> hey, Tortoise, you're so slow, I can take a nap and still win. All that food made me quite sleepy. Just one quick nap. I told you slow and steady would win the race. What? Huh? No! What? That's not fair! You might be fast, but you have a lot to learn about being a good friend. Good race. You know, he never gave up. Good race, my friend. And from then on, the tortoise and the hare became very best friends. We should have a contest to see who can jump the highest. How about we just jump together? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> There's your diamond necklace. Cool. What about sunglasses? You look super fancy. Thanks. What do you want to dress up as? Hmm. Ooh, I know. Want to play Country Mouse and City Mouse? Cool. Yeah. Here's my nice green meadow. Nothing but peace and quiet around here. I'm bored. And here's my big, fancy city house. I need a vacation from all this excitement. I'll go visit my cousin in the country. The suitcase is perfect. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. You live far. Cousin, is that you? All the way from the big city. It's so good to see you. So, what do you do in the country? Uh, well, we could play in the grass. Okay. We could watch the stars. Uh, okay. We could look for food. Sometimes I find a nut or berries. Or we could eat what I brought. I've never seen so much food. This is nothing. The giants that live in my house leave stuff like this all over the place. Whoa. So, what do you do in the city? Well, I guess you could say we count the stars too. But in the city, there are big, shiny, flashy lights in every color of the rainbow. Whoa. Yeah, it's mostly going from one adventure to the other. The city sounds amazing. I wish I could visit you. OK, let's go. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. 
we're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. Welcome to my mansion. Looks like the giants left quite the feast. This is awesome. We need a city cat. Oh, right. Uh... I got it. You eat. OK. Mmm. Tasty. That's enough adventure for me, thanks. I miss the nice, quiet country. Oh, well, come visit any time. You too. And so, from then on, the country mouse was grateful for his peaceful life in the country. And the city mouse was grateful for a crazy life in the city. And, and they, they both, both lived happily ever, ever after. So, what should we dress up as next? I think I saw some pig ears back there. Cool. Da 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 Hello and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, my friend and I will be performing the tale of Jack and Jill. I will be Jill. And I will be Jack. Places, everybody. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Oh no! Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Ow! Uh, ow! That didn't go so well, huh, Jack? Nope. Up Jack got, and home did trot, as fast as he could caper. And he went to bed, to mend his head with vinegar and brown paper. Wait, vinegar? Yeah. Why? It smells awful. It'll make you feel better, I promise. Jill came in, and she did grin to see Jack's paper plaster. She jumped for joy to see her boy all healed from his disaster. Thanks, Jill, it worked. But we still haven't gotten our pail of water. Hmm. I think we should build a staircase up the hill so we don't slip while we carry the heavy pail. That's a great idea. With stones and sticks and mud and bricks, they built with careful timing. Steps to guide them up the side the hill that they were climbing. What do you think, Jack? Looks pretty sturdy to me. Only one way to find out. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. The steps were good, and so they could live happily ever after. We did it, Jill. We make a pretty good team, Jack. Thanks for playing with us. You can act out your own Jack and Jill show at home, too. Bye, Bye Mother Goose, Goose Club. Club. Hello, Goose Club. Look at this towel my friends and I spent the day making. We made this town and this car out of a few cardboard boxes. Let's take a drive and see who's out around town. Stop! Oh, who are you? I'm a police officer. A police officer? What does a police officer do? 
a police officer helps keep people safe and make sure that everyone is following the rules. Sometimes they direct traffic, like I'm doing right now. What a cool job. I think so too. The way's clear now. Come on through. Thank you. Bye. What a nice police officer. Oh, what's going on here? I'm just getting my fire truck ready for the day. What is your job? I'm a firefighter. A firefighter? What does a firefighter do? A firefighter puts out fires in homes, buildings, and even forests. I rescue people that are in danger, and I keep my town safe. Wow, that sounds like a very important job. Well, it's very important that I keep everybody safe. And remember, only call 911 when there's a real emergency. Will do. Goodbye. Wow, what a nice firefighter. Let's see who else we can meet in town. Oh look, that person is delivering a package to my house. That's right, I have a package for you. Oh, thank you. Is this your job? That's right, I'm a mail carrier. A mail carrier? What does a mail carrier do? A mail carrier delivers packages and mail. They also pick up packages and letters that people want to send to each other. You must be very busy. That's right, there's so many things to deliver. Here you go. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another package to deliver. Goodbye, goodbye. Wow, what a busy day in our cardboard town. We met so many people. The police officer, the firefighter, and the mail carrier. Oh, after this package is open, we get to add this to our town. Bye, Mother Goose Club! Do you want to play with blocks? No. Do you want to sing a song? No. Do you want to play dress up? No. Come on, let's play the story of the little red hen. Please, we'll make a perfect cat. Okay. Hi, I'm the little red hen. Mmm, I'm really hungry. I will search this field for some breakfast. Oh, I need grains. Here we go. Ooh, look what I found. Ooh. Cat, look, I found grains. Now, if we plant the grains, they'll turn into wheat. And if we harvest the wheat, we can grind it into flour. And if we bake the flour into bread, we'll have a yummy sweet treat to share. That sounds like a lot of work. It won't be if we work together. Just imagine the freshly baked bread. Will you help me plant the grains? Sorry, Hen. It's fine. I'll do it myself. One. Two, three, four, five. Hmm, what do plants need to grow? Sun and water. <gasps> Look, cat, the grains are growing into wheat. I don't see any wheat. You have to imagine it, silly. Cat, can you help me harvest the wheat? Sorry, Hen, I'm kind of busy. I'll do it myself. Chop, 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 chop. Cat, how are we gonna get all of this wheat to the mill? Basket.
ready to bake. Oh, oh it's so heavy. Hey, Cat, do you want to help me bake? Sorry, Hen, I'm all tired out. <sighs> I'll do it by myself. I'll measure by myself. Stir by myself. Bake by myself. Ding! Bread's ready! Mmm, smells yummy. Let's eat. You didn't help me plant the grains. You didn't help me harvest the wheat. You didn't help me carry, grind, or bake. But now you want to eat? Meow. Yeah. I did all the work myself, and now I will eat myself. So the little red hen ate, for she was hungry from her hard work. But then, the cat helped her friend plant more grain, and together they baked lots more bread to share. And, and they, they both lived happily ever after. The end. Do you want to bake something else together? Sure, let's make a cake. With pumpkin in it. Pumpkin Yum. is so good in cake. This is going to be delicious. Okay. We could add some um, vegetable too to make it really healthy. Yeah, very healthy. For seeds. Nope. Guess again. You get one final guess and you know it starts with S. Hey, that rhymes. S is for stinky sock. <laughs> is that it? No. Ew. S is for submarine, silly. Well, Sailor, I think we run out of things in this playroom that start with S. Aha! But if the Mother Goose Club player set sail, I'm sure there's lots of things that we could find that start with S at sea. Aye, aye, sailor. The sailors went to see, 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 to see what they could see, see, see. But all that they could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Look, seaweed. Seaweed starts with S. And so does sea turtle. The sailors went to see, 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 to see what they could see, see, see. But all that they could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Well played, sailor. I think I'm going to go find that shark costume now. Ooh, I want to be an orca whale next. Seven, eight, nine, whoa! <laughs> Here, let me help. You know, this rope would be perfect for the lion and the mouse. I guess I'm the lion. I never get to be the lion. True. Your turn. Thanks. This is my nice comfy rock. Don't forget your mane. Week. It sure is nice being a big, strong lion. I think I'm going to lounge around and relax. Arr. I smell seeds. Oops! Arr. Who dares wake me up? A teeny mouse? I should gobble you up. No, no, please let me go. And I promise to help you whenever you need it. Big lion. You're a funny mouse. In fact, I think I'll let you go. Thank you. Thank you. Your kindness won't be forgotten. Silly mouse. What's this? A hunter's trap. Quick, help me get trapped. Okay. Good?
great lion cried out, but not one animal in the jungle dared to help. No animal, that is, except the mouse, who had not forgotten the lion's kindness. Don't worry, lion, I'm here to help. Thanks, little guy, but if I can't get out of this trap, what are you going to do? I'll save you, just like you saved me. You really are funny. Aha! What? I'm free! Sorry I laughed at you, Mouse. Now I see, small friends can be the greatest friends of all. And that's our story. Of the lion and the mouse. The, the end. end. Hey, do you want to play jump rope? Yeah! You can go first. Thanks! Okay, ready? Now left, right, step, step. Ow! What's wrong? Ow! I stepped on... A pee? A marble! It really hurt! Maybe we should take a break. Want to play the princess in the pee? Cool. Crowns. Thanks, your majesty. Of course, princess. But it's way past your bedtime. I guess I need a bed. Here. Don't forget a pillow. Right to bed, princess. Oh, and one more thing. Night, Dad. Good night. Dad? Dad! Yes, what is it? I can't fall asleep. But it's late. I mean, my pet bear cub. OK. Roar! Here you go. Now close your eyes. Sure, Dad. Good night. Good night. Dad? Yes? I can't get comfortable. Will you sing to me? OK, sure. skid a dinky dink dink skid a rinky do I love you. skid a rinky dink dink skid a rinky do I love you. I love you and... Hey! You're supposed to be relaxing. I am! Go to sleep. Good night, Dad. Good night. Dad? What is it now? Can you read me a bedtime story? Fine, but then you have to go to sleep. I have a kingdom to rule in the morning. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Dad, can a cat play fiddle? I don't know, dear. The cow jumped over the moon. Dad, there's no way a cow could jump over the moon. Just listen, okay? The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. That story's ridiculous! Princess and the P. The end. Hey, what should we play next? Let's play marbles. I got a big marble. I got a small marble. 18, 19, 20. 
you go, little guy. I'll get an acorn. Cluck, 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 just walking around the farm. I'm a big, tall tree. Walk under me. Cluck, 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 just hanging out. My acorn. Ah, my head. Wait, what hit my head? I don't know. It must have been the sky. Help, help, the sky is falling. Help. You make a great chicken. Now I'm going to be the head. Oh, no, 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 no. Help! Help! The sky is falling! Chicken Little, what's wrong? Henny Penny, Henny Penny, a piece of the sky fell and hit me on the head. And now, the rest of the sky will probably fall and smush us all. The sky is falling? The sky is falling! The sky! The sky is falling! Help, help! Now I'll be the duck. The sky is Penny, falling. Henny Penny, what in the world is going on? Oh, Ducky Lucky. The sky, the sky is falling, and it's gonna smush us all. Oh no, the sky is falling? The sky is falling. Help, help. Help, help. The sky is falling. Now I'll be the fox. No, 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 no. Help, the sky is falling. Oh, Ducky Lucky, what's the problem? Oh, Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling, and it's gonna crush us all. And you're sure why? Well, Henny Penny told me, and Chicken Little told her. And you're telling me, so it must be true. Come, we better take cover. Here, quick, come to my den. Thank you, Foxy. Yes, this feels much safer. And what about a little duck dinner? A what? Ah! Ducky Lucky ran away from the tricky fox. And Chicken Little, Henny Penny, and Ducky Lucky learn that whenever they're scared, just to take a deep breath and be calm instead. And, and they, they all lived happily ever, ever after. after. Okay, my turn to count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.